and today I have a super simple basic everyday makeup look for you guys as you can see it's very minimal very basic and I've used very few products and they're all drugstore products so quite affordable and at the end of this video I also have a small little Nika haul for you guys because Nika had this um, summer sale going on and I got a few products off of there so I'm going to show you what I got towards the end and without any more talking, let's just get to it. All right, so on to the makeup bed. The first thing I'm going to use is this lip balm. This is from Nykaa and unfortunately it has a very hideous name. It's called the Serial Kisser Lip Balm. This is in the grape variant. Now that that's done, I'm going to start with the base. I use about two or three products only. The first thing I'm going to use is this sugar uh, foundation stick. This is in the shade 17 Raff. Um, this is slightly expensive, I think it's for about 1000 rupees, but it has a brush at one end and it also has a foundation at the other end. It's a retractable stick, like in me, wali kharab ho I'm not able to get it out anymore, so I just transferred all of this to this little travel pot that I have. So this is what I'm going to use. Um, I'm just going to dot this very lightly all over my face. I don't have a mirror, so I'm just going to stare into the camera while I do my makeup. Um, just a few dots. I just got a little mirror. <laughs> so what I was saying was that um, this is slightly yellow and my concealer, the one that I use, is slightly light. So just applying a little bit under my eyes really helps to just balance out the shades. And then I'm going to use this um, Pack 291 foundation brush and I'm going to start to just like blend it. I'm going to use this mirror. I don't use this product. What is this product? It's just not a nice product. I've had this for so many years, but I've never used it. I'm sorry, mom. So yeah. And then just under my eyes. So I'm a beginner when it comes to makeup. I don't want to makeup more makeup. I just, I just do a little bit of base makeup and that's how I roll. I don't know how to do any eyeshadow or anything, but if there's one thing that I've realized and learned is that you don't need brushes actually. All you need is a good beauty blender and it's gonna help you do everything. So um, once that's done, I'm going to now move on to concealer. I used to use the Wet n Wild concealer before this, but I currently recently just bought this Swiss Beauty concealer. This is in the shade 02 and it's pretty affordable. I think like I think it's under 300 rupees and the shade is 02 it's just a really nice concealer it's really good coverage so i'm just gonna you know do a little bit on my blemishes around my mouth um here and then a little bit over here and then my nose that's about it and then i'm gonna blend it with my beauty blender um, my beauty blender is also from pack all of my makeup tools all of my brushes they're all from pack i just have like two brushes and one beauty blender but yes up back guy um i love that brand for their makeup tools i've not tried their makeup uh, but the tools are definitely really good so i have a wet beauty blender here and i'm just gonna blend the concealer and excuse the dirty blender so i'm gonna just uh, lightly blend everything together now, I'm just gonna run it all over my face, not only at the spots where I apply my concealer because then it's just gonna help blend in the foundation and the concealer, everything together. I also like to run my concealer over my eyes and my nose. I think I really love using concealer on my nose. I love how cute and bright my nose looks after the concealer. And this is not a very full coverage, like extra type of makeup look this is a very basic everyday look and which i use when i'm going out for like a dinner or something like if it's a party or if it's my birthday or something my makeup's gonna be slightly heavier like i would also use a contour and stuff but otherwise on a daily basis i don't so this looks blended okay so next up i'm gonna use a setting powder this is the maybelline fit me loose setting powder I personally prefer setting powders over compacts because I think they're a lot easier to use. And this one is slightly expensive. I think it's for about 600 or 650 rupees or something. Uh, but if you want an affordable option, I've heard really good things about the Maybelline Fit Me Compact. 
and i think that's like under 300 rupees and that's supposed to be pretty good too so you can try that we're gonna use this for today with my pack 234 brush and i'm gonna just uh, lightly set my under eyes and then i'm gonna run the rest over my eyes okay look i've already told you that i suck at makeup so don't follow my method to the t okay and then i'm gonna set the center of my face basically around my lips my nose a little bit on my forehead because that's what i get the most um oily sweaty all of those things so yeah and then i'm gonna use a blush so the blush that i use is this one it's from sugar it looks kind of ugly because i use a wet beauty blender to like dab it and apply it i don't use a brush for my blush either just a beauty blender and this is a really nice blush like this is the sugar mini blush in shade 02 pinnacle pink pinnacle um pink pinnacle but this is for about i think 350 or something i have an affordable blush option in the nika haul that i'm going to show you after i do my makeup uh, but i'm not using that today because it's very new for me and i tried using it yesterday and it was so pigmented so i'm just scared that i might ruin my makeup today so which is why i'm not using that and i'm gonna use this blush so i'm just gonna take the butt of my wet blender the butt the booty and i'm gonna just dab it and i'm gonna apply it i like to apply my blush to the sides like the higher ends of my cheekbone because it helps give a very nice lifted look instead of like the apples of my cheeks because that makes my face look chubby chubbier than it already is so yeah and i also like a little bit of blush on my nose because i think it's a really cute look yeah i think it's looking good if you'd like you can just take some blush and then just like run it over your eyelids to give it a little bit of color that's what i like to do and that's my blush it's all very light it's a very basic halka fulka makeup so i don't use any products for my brows i think i have naturally very decent brows so i don't use a brow pencil or a gel or whatever i just leave them as it is so we're just gonna move on to mascara now and the one that i use is kiko uh extra sculpt mascara my mom got this for me from spain so i don't know if this is available in india but like an affordable option here can be the Lakme Iconic Mascara. This is in the blue variant. I'll show you because I really wanted a blue mascara. Look at how pretty that is. Um, so this is that. It's my black bhi aata hai, and I think the black one is slightly cheaper than the blue one. So you could try that. But I'm going to use this Kiko Milano one today. It has like a really funny, like differently shaped wand. So this is what I'm going to use. That's it just so light so minimal that's my vibe all right moving on to lipstick so now there's only two lipsticks in the whole world that i only ever use uh the first one being lacme 95 in the shade coffee light very beautiful nude shade and the other one is maybelline in the shade nude nuance i'm just gonna use nude nuance um and lipstick bhi pura aise nahi lagati hu. i just dab a little bit and then just like rub it with my fingers so I think that's good and that's it that's my makeup look i don't use a setting spray i don't use a primer on a daily basis this is all that i use like four or five products and that's my makeup look what, what kind of shooting stars on the side of my bed and now your lips tattooed on the side of my neck another glass won't kill you right gladly she replies you got me running circles inside of my head okay so now that we're done with the makeup i'm gonna move on to the mini nika haul that i have for you guys uh, i have like these products all of these products to show you so i'm gonna first start off with this product that's not actually from nika it's from amazon it's this heat protectant mist it's from this brand called velasio it has grapeseed and argan oil and it smells really good it smells like 
a salo. It smells just so good. But let's be honest, I don't know if a heat protectant does anything to your hair at all, if it really protects your hair or if it doesn't. But I guess it's good to have one. I mean, even if this doesn't protect your hair from the heat, at least it's gonna make it smell amazing. So yeah, you should definitely try it. I just dropped the cap, but yeah. Also the heat protectant that I had before this was from Tony and Guy, it's this one. I got this from Nika and this was for about 700. I forgot to tell you, so the Velasio is for 300 and this Tony and Guy was for 700 rupees. Uh, and obviously like I have no way to tell you if this works or if it doesn't work. But I can tell you one thing, the spray nozzle really sucks, like look at that. Like, do you see how this leaks? How ridiculous is that for a product that's that expensive, right? So don't buy that. All right, the next part I'm gonna show you is the Simple Niacinamide Serum. Um, I got this for 500. It's originally for 700, but Nika has this summer sale going on, which is why it's cheaper right now. Uh, this is what the bottle looks like. Uh, it's pretty ugly. It's 10% niacinamide and I'm excited to try it. I love Simple as a brand. I think it's a no BS brand. They don't have parabens. They use good ingredients and all those things. And niacinamide is supposed to, is supposed to just uh, help your, like keep your skin moisturized and uh, even out your skin tone and things like that. I've currently been using a vitamin C serum every night before I go to bed. But uh, once that's over, I'm gonna use, start using the niacinamide and then see what it does to my skin. All right, the next thing I picked up from Nika is this Nivea Dio Milk uh, in the variant Sensitive. It smells mild and refreshing. And I just, you know, I roll it on after I shower. And this is the first roll-on duo that I've ever tried. I've only used this once yet, um, but I like that so far. It's kind of sticky and like, it's a milk, right? So, I mean, if you can see, it's actually milky in color. But, uh, like, so the moment you apply it on, it's kind of sticky and wet. But you give it a couple of minutes and then it just dries out. So, I mean, I don't know if that's how all roll-on duos work. Because I've never used a roll-on duo before. I generally use body mists and perfumes. But, yeah, that's the scene with this one. I got this one for about 190 rupees on sale. And uh, I think I'm pretty happy with it so far. So yeah, next up I have this little nail and cuticle oil. This is from this brand called Wadi. Uh, I've tried Wadi Ka eye cream before and that was pretty nice. And this is just for 67 rupees. So, I mean, I guess no harm trying, right? Uh, so basically what happens is like I used to apply Vaseline on my cuticles before at night before I used to go to sleep. But with Vaseline, it still didn't help because like, you know, that skin, with nails ke paas, chuti chuti skin, it keeps coming off and it hurts. So I was like, okay, I'll just try cuticle oil. It comes in this roll-on bottle. So you just like roll it on your nails. I haven't used this yet, actually. I'm gonna start using it tonight. This has uh, jojoba oil and like other stuff. So yeah, I got this. And then next up, I also got this hair serum. I was using this one from Be Blunt before and I mean it's pretty mediocre. It really doesn't do much. It smells good but it didn't do much for my hair. So I got this one. This is the L'Oreal Total Repair 5 Smoothening Serum and I got this one for 158 rupees. It's the 40ml bottle and when I saw the bottle, dekha, so I thought it was going to be like a creamy consistency, like a creamy serum but it's actually like a clear serum it's like Levon, and this also smells kind of nice so yeah i have two solutions for you to make your hair smell amazing and finally i'm going to show you this one makeup product i got this is the miss claire blush in the shade 03 this blush um is for 191 it's very thing generally discounts you there and they have like so many shades. It's not even funny the amount of shades they have in this blush. Uh, and I was so confused while choosing my shade because I personally prefer like dark and like, you know, darker, more maroonish. And uh, I don't know, kya get this go mauve. I don't know, I'll show you. So like, I prefer colors like these. This is the one from Sugar that I have. But uh, I was so confused while choosing my shade in this one because they have a lot of shades 
and uh, when you see the pictures that are on Nykaa for the product um, all of the shades look like most of the shades look very similar so I had to really go into the reviews and see what pictures people have put up to actually find a shade that I liked and then I finally picked shade number three and uh, this is what it looks like it's like on a dark pink side I'm gonna just like swatch it it's really pigmented though it's like heavily pigmented wow that's the ugliest swatch I've ever seen it's such a pigmented blush you guys just look at that um, yeah so that's the shade I've used this once and bahut zyada blush ho gaya tha because it's so pigmented so yeah I'm gonna use it again and then I'm gonna just use a very very small amount because it's bright and I guess that's all I have for you guys today that is the end of my Nykaa haul also just in case you want to know my nail paint is also from Nykaa it's called white chocolate ganache it's a matte white nail color and um, I love it all right you guys so with that I'm gonna end this video I hope you liked my little makeup tutorial and if you did maybe you could consider subscribing to my channel and liking the video and supporting my channel and I will see you in my next video staring out the window reaching for a north star waiting just to wake up from this nightmare where you could be right back in my arms dancing to the limbo stuck here in the midst